Gentlemen, when it comes to manscaping, it's all over the board. What I do is gonna be different than what you do, and what you do is gonna be different than what your weird Uncle Barry does. Which is nothing. It boils down to personal pruning preference, but the one area that I personally feel is still a little bit taboo to talk about is the pits. Alpha, you, you shave? I do, and so do 68% of dudes that were polled by Men's Health. Men's Health surveyed 4,044 dudes and found that 52.1% of dudes definitely do. 21% say, hey, who cares? 15.8% do it for athletic reasons, and 11.1% say, no way, it's weird. I am of the mindset that 100% of dudes should do something to manage the hair underneath their armpits. And today, we're going to talk about the five reasons I feel every man should shave his pits. Now technically, I don't shave my armpits, I trim them pretty much as low as it'll go. But after I go over the five reasons I feel like every guy should trim or shave them, I'm gonna go over a little armpit grooming tutorial to help you if you care to manage the hair right there. Number one, I sweat less, which in my opinion is awesome. Second reason I feel like every guy should shave their armpits is because it makes you feel cooler. Not like, like cooler, I'm talking just like body temperature. It's not as hot, it's not as like musty and, and sweaty, it, it, it's cool. The third reason? Nothing. You stink less. Armpit hair is very similar to pubic hair, right? When you've got hair, it traps odor, it traps wetness, dark places, bacteria form, increasing odor. The reason you manscape makes your winter look bigger, but it also cuts down on the odor and the stink associated with musky nuts. Armpit hair? Same thing. Fourth reason I think that every guy should at least trim his armpit hair short is because of deodorant clumping. White, clumpy, antiperspirant deodorant is one of the nastiest things when it's all just like chilling and caked underneath your pits. By eliminating the hair, you eliminate the clump associated with antiperspirant deodorant. Fifth reason every guy should shave his armpits, it looks better, it's cleaner, it's a little bit sexier of an aesthetic in my opinion. But I understand that there are a lot of guys that still want some hair underneath their arm because it makes them feel a little bit more masculine and it's a personal preference like I said and so now let me go over my personal armpit grooming routine first things first grab the right tool for the job mine and yours should be Brio. The Brio Beardscape is, in my opinion, the greatest grooming tool in the history of grooming tools. Now, most of you guys know I used to be a Norelco fan, right? Amazing, Norelco's incredible. But then I tried the Brio. Um, if you guys missed the video where I did a side-by-side, head-to-head comparison that was unsponsored between the Brio and the Norelco, my previous favorite, I will link to that video down below. Watch the video, it's pretty incredible, the difference. But the fact is this, this product, if you you're looking for the best body grooming tool or facial grooming tool out there on the market, it doesn't get any better than the Brio. If you're somebody who is looking for a new grooming tool, you're not 100% happy with your current grooming tool, you cannot go wrong with the Brio. This thing is incredible. The battery life, like, like look at it. I've got 164 minutes left. I haven't charged this thing in like three months. It lasts forever. The problem with the Brio Beardscape is they can never keep them in stock long enough. Um, they sell out every time I post a video. Guys, there's a link right now down below. They're selling these things at an insane price, and that's the reason why they go so fast. The link is special, so if you're looking to grab one at an amazing price, like right now, they've got them. Next week, they're probably not going to have them. They sell out that quick. This product is amazing. I use it on my pits. I use it on my pubes, on my face. It's got like guards and <laughs> it's amazing. All right, gentlemen, armpit grooming time. So I am not a super hairy guy, right? It's been about a month since I've last groomed my armpits and you can see, right? There's not a ton of hair in terms of density, but if I let it go, it will get longer and it will cause me to sweat more. It'll cause me to stink more and all that like clumpy deodorant definitely does start to take hold. And so what I'll do is about once a month, I will use my Brio. And what I do, I start with the attachment. I pop the three millimeter attachment. That's gonna take it super short. And what I do then is just go over it just to get some of the length down because honestly, I feel like it's a little bit better 
and I don't miss as many stragglers. Now, for a lot of dudes, if you don't want it that short, you can always go six millimeters or use one of the other attachments and leave it a little bit longer. Me, I like it as short as possible without actually shaving it. Then what I'll do, I'll pop the attachment off and I will adjust the blade down a millimeter. And the idea is that I don't wanna get nipped, right? Because these clippers are so sharp and they cut so close, I need for the skin in my armpit because it's a little bit softer. It's sort of like your scrotum skin. It's super soft, it's supple, and there are a lot of like grooves and indentations. So that's where my armpit grooming ends. I do not shave it. Um, if you're somebody who is interested in taking it shorter and shaving it, hop in the shower, lather it up, get a nice razor, and clean shave it. For me, I get bad ingrown hairs and razor burn, and it's really uncomfortable when it starts to grow back in. So my solution, take it short. It doesn't get the hair below the skin, and so it doesn't have a hard time like popping through and getting through the surface of the skin, causing the bumps and irritation. It doesn't make you fat. Feminine, it doesn't make you gay. It totally boils down to personal preference. And if anybody else has anything to say about them, give them one of these. I'm kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> say whatever, dude. I like it. Suck it. <laughs> I'm gonna, don't say that either. Just don't say anything. It's up to you, not them.